and welcome back to Caesar Man Warrior and I just hit level 85 I got my daily activities completion and after I got my daily activities completion I got a note from Capital Games congratulating me on maxing out and they gave me a second daily activities completion so I wanted to share that with you so you can see what you get when you max level so you get um, what's very similar to basically a daily completion with another Omega which I just received a second ago and then of course the credits the sim tickets and all of that and of course you get these uh, ally points and whatnot but check this out I have never seen this before this is why I wanted to film it so you guys could see this there's a little prize box. It's a daily activity prize box and you're gonna receive one or more of these items and it has some pretty cool stuff. You know the things you need uh, to kinda of take your characters to the next level. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and let's claim this and see what I get. All right, so I got a couple of these uh, data pad salvages. Now, um, I don't even think I have a <laughs> anyone that needs that, so uh, probably wasted. But um, still, I also got crystals in that and 25k credits. So not a horrible prize box, and it was unexpected as well. Um, I do have some energy to burn. Oh, and I got my achievements. The achievements are um, Darth Vader. I'm at 70 of 100, so now I'll be at 75. So only 25 more shards. I'm pretty excited about that. 175k and three more Omega pieces. So I'll be at seven. Pretty awesome. I'm loving the rewards for sure. And uh, yay, it says Warrior Inn has reached level 85. Cool. I'm excited. I just wanted to share this moment with you guys. Now, I do have a tough decision to make. Do I upgrade Lando Calrissian to include this piece? I've built two of these in the meantime and I'm almost built a third one. I've been working hard to get three of these um, back to gels built and I needed three of them for my arena team and I only have two built. I still have to build these right here um, and so yeah it's gonna take me tomorrow I should be able to finish building these out. I'll, fill, I'll farm a couple of them while I'm here. But I need 20 of this and 20 of the other piece. There we go. Four out of seven. Not bad. So there's two of them. Um, but i got to make that decision as to who I am going to basically promote. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my arena team. I'm going to take them up to uh, 85, right? That's probably pretty important. Um, wow, I've got 10,000 of the two stars. Let's do this. And, oops. There we go. Wow, so from level 84 to 85, they cost 355,000 credits. That's painful. I've got 2.5 million credits, and they're, it's going to be gone really quick. And of course, leveling your character up does not do a whole lot for the character um, as far as power goes uh, or overall any real strength at all, but um, is pretty important just for the completion of your team, and every little bit helps. I've seen I've got a guy on my team or on my shard that has a team that's over fifty thousand arena power. And um, that kind of boggles my mind, but he uh, he doesn't do very well. He keeps getting bumped, and the reason for that is um, you can build out a team with like all health mods and using all health and protection, and make them pretty stout. But the problem is, is um, there's there's not a lot of uh, synergy with like you know having four massive tanks and one attacker because all you got to do is have some way around the tanks like AOE or like a V2 and the tanks are rendered useless so he's got a really huge powerful team but he keeps getting bumped and I think he's wondering why and if I could talk to him I would tell him honestly but um, you know that's the one thing I, I think this game could definitely do is improve the in-game communication 
It'd be fun if they had a regional or a national chat that you could do on your shard. And, uh, you know, I think, I think, I think I need to give him one of the back to gels. I really do. I know that I want to give it to uh, Sunfac as well, but uh, he's going to get it. That puts him over 9,000 power, so that is good. And the last one is Biggs. I'm pretty excited about Biggs getting to level 85. This is actually very exciting for me. Because he gets to go to gear level 11. And he's currently over 8,600 power. Let's see what happens when we give him that he goes to 88 and we upgrade him he's over 9,000 and it looks like all these are the mystery spots and that means you can't put anything in there yet so that's okay but there is one ooh one more he needs another back to gel and I uh, of course don't have one I've almost got another one built uh, and he's maxed out so that's good he's over 9k where did that put him Zip. Okay, so him and Wedge are next to each other now. So pretty cool. And I can Omega someone's ability. And um, I've maxed Biggs, Wedge, and Sunfact with their Omega abilities. So it comes down to Stormtrooper, Han, or Lando. I'm going to go ahead and do Lando's for now. So the only person I haven't omega everything is Stormtrooper Han. And honestly, I'll probably never finish Plan B. And um, I really haven't worried about these two. Uh, while they're fine and you can Omega them, they have not been a large priority for me. So anyway, I hit level 85. That's exciting. Got to spend a little bit of stuff and level a few characters up. Um, it looks like... I have about 600,000 credits left, so I might be able to level up by the end of today. Maybe two more characters from 84 to 85. That's about it. Um, so it's going to be a slow grind for sure to get everyone up. But I just wanted to share this little achievement with you guys so you can see all the rewards and achievement unlocks. Have yourselves a wonderful afternoon. Keep your gaming on. Warrior out.